Hey guys, it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I am making a really quick um, barn, I hope. I hope it's quick. Um, my two-year-old is really into animals, of course. Surprise. Um, so I wanted to get him a farm set and I didn't want to buy the farm they had, so I wanted to make a wood one. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to use some scrap plywood. I think this is 28 by 36 inch piece of wood and I'm going to cut it up. I uh, made a cardboard model first. I'll show you a picture. Okay. And once I made the cardboard model, I took the measurements, made sure everything looked about where it needed to be. And then I drew out the measurements on my cardboard. And I just gotta say, I am not a woodworker first. I am, I sew. <laughs> so I do things like somebody that sews. So you'll notice, I don't know if this is the way a normal woodworker would do this. This is just my how my brain processes it and it works for me. Okay, so here's the board. I drew out my sides and what I did is I made sure I measured so everything was even all the way across because you just don't know if your board is messed up at all or if you draw your line um, a little crooked. So you want to be careful and I did mark this is roof piece one, roof piece two. I've got the loft piece. I got my floor. Um, this is the back, and these are the two sides. So I'm going to take my circular saw. Um, I <laughs> I don't own a uh, table saw because I'm scared of them. My friend Scotty at Save by Scotty is always yelling at me because I need one, but I don't want to deal with it. I'm sure I could hurt myself with this as well, but I uh, I feel safer with this one. <laughs> so I've got this. I got my jigsaw. I'm uh, ready to go here. I'm going to cut. I probably won't take a video of this. I don't have my tripod out. I will show you the pieces once they're cut up. Okay, so everything's sanded down pretty well, and um, I've decided I think I'm going to spray paint this. So I don't really need to paint the head. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to start with my floor piece, and I want to attach the back. So we've got the back here. And I've got two side pieces that will attach here and here. So here we are. And what you might not be able to see is that the floor is tucked inside which means that this is actually wider than the width of the floor. I think that's 14 inches or 13 and a half inches. I'll have the measurements up. But um, that'll allow our loft to fit right in between. And that loft is set a little bit further back than the floor because we want the bottom floor to be a little bigger. So the first thing I want to do, I just want to have all my pieces ready to go. Um, but I want to start with my back piece. I'm going to turn it around. My wood is all scrap wood, it's not great. So what I want to start with, I want to put a little bit of tight bond um, wood glue here along this portion before I screw it in. We're going to do screws and we're going to do glue. So. These are something my friend Scotty introduced me to. These are small head screws. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? They are trim head screws. So their heads are a little bit smaller. And um, as a result, they don't show up as much, which is nice. So the next piece we want to add is our loft. This is going to be a little tight. I can sand it down a little, but I want it to not be too loose. Um, so the one thing you're really going to want to grab is your level. And you might want to grab a few animals just to make sure you've got the right height. Um, I know my height is right because, well, yeah, because it's far enough above my door the top of my door here because um, that's where 
um, I, I decided my door height based on my my animal. So as you can see, I have my horse in here. This was the biggest animal for this. So as you can see, there's plenty of space above her head. Um, so I think I want it right about here. Um, what I'm going to do is just make a little mark so I know where to put it. Actually, let me see here. So I think that's good. If I can kind of slide it right. I did not see Okay, I will check again before I screw it in. Okay, let me pull this guy out. What I wanted to do is put some hinges to allow him to fold this up if he wanted while he was playing so he could see better. Well, hinges are hard and I hate them. Uh, but so what I did is I put the two pieces right next to each other. Can you stop? You're going to get hurt. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, I got something else for you. Can I give you something else? Look at this. Oh, you're going to like this. Here, wait. Okay, so just to show you what I did is I made sure these were lined up. Pretty good, anyways. And I am going to screw this in at the top. And then the other side is screwed in along the bottom like this. And I hope that makes sense. I have a hard time with hinges. So I usually have to play with it for a few before I figure it out. So I'm going to go screw these last two, or this last hinge in. I'm probably going to try to make sure it's spaced about the same as this one. Okay, so as you could see, I added two screw or four screws, and now it goes up and down. Okay, so I didn't take a picture of it being painted. You guys can figure it out. Um, we spray painted this. I <laughs> sort of taped this off. It would have been easier to do this separately, but um, I made sure I get in all the corners. I did a couple layers of paint. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some felt to the bottom because I don't want it scratching my floors. It probably wouldn't be too bad, but um, I ironed some felt that will fit on the bottom here, and I'm going to glue this on. Last but not least, I added some white trim and also some green for the grass in front of the barn. I hope this was helpful. You can find more details about this project on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Please subscribe to my channel to see more projects, and uh, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.